What's up guys? What's going on? Kind of trying to wait here, see if the wind's going to slow down tonight. It looks different on uh, the different apps I'm looking at. But hey, while we're here, why not let me show you what's going on with the wing? The last time I flew, I had a little bit of an issue. sucked it was swinging too hard i'm like i am not going on that not that second failed launch since uh last year i'm a little wrapped up one moment i got wrapped up i got uh sandwiched by by some covers got wrapped up again like last time when I went to go out of that park what a pain in the can't go perfect all the time Ugh. let's get this off the wing yeah that definitely tore it up so I'm gonna have to do some repairs before I can fly again yeah I got this definitely tore on the end here so I'm gonna have to get that repaired before I can actually fly. I'm running back with it. Yep, all right, let's go. Yeah, she's flying fine. That's awesome. I can't believe it. I ended up aborting the launch because I was running up this hill. The wing was a little wonky. It was like shooting over left to right. But when I aborted, I saw the wing coming up and I decided to duck, and as soon as I ducked, instead of the wing going and shooting over me, it fell on top of me. And what I should have done is probably just kept running, glided the wing back down properly. But I, I've done it before where it shot over me, and I guess it was just a bad thing to do. But I learned it the hard ways. I'll show pictures of what ended up happening to the wing, but I wanted to show here some of the repairs that I did. I ended up uh, going through hell, you know, fighting the battles in Mordor to get the fabric I needed to replace the pieces that were chunked up by my prop. A nice three big chunks of the panels and I decided it was probably going to be better to just replace the whole panel instead trying to mend together shredded fabric. The parts that got messed up were some of the ribs on the inside and these three panels. I went ahead and stitched all the fabric here once I got it. I put some tape, uh, ripstop tape, over the seams but it's not really how I want it. I'm gonna get a larger piece because I only have the small square that came with the wing. I have been kiting the wing and I did fly it, showed it to a couple other pilots to get secondary opinion and uh, it looked like it was good to go. I wanted to just kind of show what I did. Um, luckily the A's all stayed in place. I, none of them got popped off or anything. So they're all exactly where they used to be. Nothing got moved around weird. Um, some of the ribs on the inside that got damaged I went ahead and just sewed some extra fabric to the inside once it was open. So it's basically like a reinforcement for what was originally there. There's like another piece here too that I reinforced. It looks like some panties or some G-strings in there now. And I know it adds a little bit of weight to the ribs, but um, kiting the wing, it looks like it's fine. And I went ahead and reinforced a couple of these that look like they were loose. Basically rebuilt this this whole three panel side of the wing. There was actually one of these blue lines that did come off. I'll probably be replacing one of these because um, I noticed one of them there was coming unsheathed just a little bit, probably from when the prop hit it. Not enough to be uh, a worry, but enough for me to say, why not replace it? Because I can. Oh, here it is. It's this one right here. I see a little tiny piece of it there is unsheathed. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, replace this this whole set of lines right here i'll just go ahead and show you guys i'm going to kite the wing a little bit the wind's not blowing that hard it's just uh there's a couple of gusts that come in that were freaking me out that were a little hard and I haven't flown in a while. Uh, I got to do like one flight with some buddies 
in Pennsylvania the other day. Glad to be back up. Uh, to test the wing out, I wanted to at least be around other people when I did it, in case anything did happen, or at least they could give me some advice if they saw anything sketchy. I have a, a tag that was inside my wing, and I have no idea where it went. I don't see it anymore. I might have dropped it somewhere. I did the GPS find for it to see if it would find it, but it hasn't yet. It might have fallen off at home or something. I don't know. But yeah, the wing, the wing's flying all right. I'm happy with it. As long as I keep air in it, it'll stay up. As you can see. But I'm hoping that the wind's gonna slow down here in a little bit since the sun's starting to go down. And if it does, they're gonna go on a little flight. Maybe I also, maybe I'll put on the harness and take a couple runs with the wing. You know, get kind of used to it haven't done it in a while but anyway yeah it was a big debacle to get this whole thing situated I ended up sending it the wing out to someone in in the west coast who wanted over like I think it was like fifteen hundred dollars it was gonna cost me plus shipping which I already had cost me like two hundred dollars I'd ship my wing there and then back when I didn't agree to the price because originally I was quoted like four hundred dollars and then the price changed to fifteen hundred dollars when they got the damage and saw what it was and, you know, I don't blame them. Like, at the same time, I mean, it took me like a week or two to work on it, but I had to work on it like a little bit here and there. I couldn't, like, it wasn't like two weeks straight of me working on it. It was just like a few hours every night of me like making some parts and stitching some parts and then cutting out fabric, measuring stuff, all of that. So that took some time. So I understand like if anybody else had to do it, yeah, whatever, it would have, it would have taken them probably just as long. Whoa, see that gust right there was not something I would have wanted to be in the air for. It's pulling me real hard right now. I'll put it back down. Whew, that one was a hard gust. I don't like that one. Yeah, I hope that stops as the sun goes down. There you go, you can see the flag flying pretty hard there. So I'm not sure if I'm really gonna go for a flight here, but if I don't, I'll post the video of the flight that I did with, the, with my buddies in Pennsylvania. Um, I did send pictures and everything and uh, showed exactly what happened with measurements, but I guess that's not really enough until you see it in person and know like exactly what's going on, right? Oop, I feel that wind coming back, that big gust. I'll put her down for a second. Watch the squid, the wind squid. See that one there is like a little, I don't know, that's probably more than 11. But I'm trying to wait to see if uh, that calms down for a bit and for now. Just have a little bit of fun. The past couple nights it's been like this, and then, you know, like last hour before the sun goes down, everything gets super calm and nice. So I want to see if I get an opportunity to fly tonight. It would be very nice. But yeah, I've been just kind of inspecting the wing, uh, kiting it, running with it. I flew it that one day, and I'm trying to make sure nothing's coming loose, that everything still looks good. I mean, the wing's fine like it normally does, and nothing seems to be coming loose at the moment. So I'm happy. And even if it did, the spot that it's at, um, it's not that big of a deal because the top of the wing will still be intact. You know, I'm not doing any kind of crazy uh, g pull maneuvers or anything that's going to get me into a bind where I'm pulling on the lines hard enough to where they would come undone. Uh, but I did use what I thought looked pretty identical to exactly what the manufacturer used. Uh, I measured the stitching lengths. I got the same type of threading. I, I did my best to do everything that you're supposed to do so I could do it the right way. 
And as of right now, everything looks good. I'm really happy with it. So um, yeah, after I sent my wing to that guy, he overquoted me, I decided to go ahead and have him send it back. My last ditch effort, I called Eric over at Aviator because uh, I don't like bothering him. Obviously he's probably got enough stuff he's dealing with at the moment. And I, I just knew that if I called him though, he'd know how to help me out. So he put me in touch with people who were able to help me out over there. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit hectic because at first, unfortunately, there was like a mistake where I was I was shipped the wrong fabric. I got the sticky fabric, which was the, uh, the repair tape basically. And unfortunately, that's not what I needed because I had to replace the whole panel. If you put it, the sticky side on there, it would, it would basically stick to the red and, and the wing wouldn't open and get air in those cells. So I had to get the fabric without the sticky in order to, to do this fix. But I had to leave town because I had a show to play in Florida. So I figured while I'm down in Florida, um, I would just stop by in person and pick it up. And they were nice enough there to hold it for me. So I picked it up. When I drove back home, first thing I did was start fixing this thing, trying to figure out what I was gonna do. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to be flying again. And I really hope today turns out to uh, calm down a little bit, but those clouds over there look a little ominous. So if they're coming this way, which they look like they are, uh, that will suck for me. Um, so. Uh. I'm trying to be smart and patient, and in the meantime, just have fun with the wing now that it's uh, live again. Yeah, I might go ahead and go get the uh, harness and go put it on. Run around for a little bit. Looks like the wind's shifting a bit as well from where it was. So yeah, I, I wanted to make this video just kind of say, hi, I'm back so far. <laughs> And uh, hopefully we can go for a little bit of a flight today. Right up.
Hi, how's it going? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just flying. Did you jump out of the plane? No, that that is my plane. Oh. Yeah. So you just go up and. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is this your house? This your property? No, they let me fly out of here though. They see me all over here all the oh, time. Oh, okay. So, so this is your usual thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, because there was a there's a all this smoke over there, mm -hmm. and there was this plane flying crazy, and I was. Oh like, yeah. Okay. So the plane he flies out of Salem Airport. They do stunts over there, so he okay. flies like going upside down and doing flips and everything. Okay. And then that makes sense though. Why you'd well, be worried? So I was sitting on eleven <laughs> at like the twenty. And I saw this plane going crazy, right? And it was, it went crazy for like an hour. Then I went to go leave and I see all this smoke, which I can still see right there. Yeah, that, there's a big fire over there by like, it's like some uh, commercial property. They're burning some stuff in the back. Okay, yeah. you just answered all my questions. <laughs> Three, four, two, then you can disregard anybody else. I'm okay. Okay, so that totally makes sense. So you fly out of here. Yeah. That's yeah, that's cute. my van right there, the red one. Yeah, did you see me like chasing mm -hmm. you? I saw you. I saw you stop and yeah. on the road, and I was like, "Wait a second, is she just watching, or what's going on?" And well, then no, I, I came saw back the to land. Smoke but... and all of that stuff, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, maybe this person needs help." But hey, that is super cool. So you yeah. like, it takes you off the ground from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hey, live your best yeah. life. I hey, don't thanks. care. I just... Yeah, I was actually, I was, I was just over there flying over the, um, like to the side of where all the fairground is, where all the people yes. are, and I was waving to them. So I thought maybe like you were there with them, and you were just no, trying I to just saw the smoke see what and was going and I on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really bad. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, did the plane crash? Did you yeah, drop? thanks for so checking. I just wanted yeah. to make sure you're okay. So now for future. No, I appreciate it. Actually, this happens a lot. Um, I have people that come in from the neighborhood sometimes to make sure I didn't come out from a plane or something yeah well I, you have lights and stuff so i was like okay they have to know what they're doing because they have lights and whatnot so, yeah yeah okay. that's so the planes can see me from far away because i'm tiny up there you you seriously look tiny and then i called dispatch and they're like are you sure it was a person i was like i swear i'm not going crazy right now but hey okay, yeah there's nothing like that around here so Sorry to bother you. no it's all good have a good one